It's Umsum time. How does an optical mouse work? Simple. It's just an optical illusion. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> to buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> See, the LED which is installed at the bottom of an optical mouse emits a bright light in the downward direction. Now, as an optical mouse is designed to be used on plane surfaces, this light is reflected back and is detected by the light detector chip. This light detector chip is also located at the bottom of the mouse, right next to the LED. Hmm. This chip consists of a frontal lens which magnifies any light entering it. This <laughs> light signal is used to figure out the position of the mouse as well as the mouse pointer on the computer screen. Hmm. Now, as we move the mouse around, the direction of the reflected beam changes. This information is then used to figure out the speed as well as the direction in which the mouse is being moved. Hmm. Topic, human bones. How does a bone heal? Huh? Ha, huh, simple, by a bandage. Nah, huh? bones are one of the most important parts of our body. They not only provide structural support, but also produce red blood cells. What? Our bones produce red blood cells? Absolutely. Hence, when we crack or break a bone, it is very important hmm. to heal it. In the healing process, cells oh. called chondrocytes produce collagen which forms cartilage. Huh? This cartilage bridges the gap between the broken bones thus producing a soft callus. <laughs> then, special cells called osteoblasts create a hard bony callus using collagen and minerals like calcium and phosphorus, thus forming our new bone. <laughs> However, this new bone is irregular in shape. Hence, cells called osteoclasts start remodeling the bone, resulting in the formation <laughs> of bones similar to the original shape. <laughs> Topic, caffeine. How does coffee keep you awake? By throwing an overnight party. Nah. Huh? When we perform our daily activities like thinking and playing, a byproduct called adenosine is produced. Adenosine slows down the brain activity. But how? In our brain, there are adenosine receptors which are perfectly molded for this adenosine. Hmm. When the adenosine binds to these receptors, it activates them, causing to slow down the brain activity and thus making us feel sleepy. Huh? However, drinking coffee keeps us awake and we don't feel sleepy. This is because coffee contains a drug called caffeine, which after digestion reaches our brain. Caffeine is structurally similar to adenosine. Being similar, caffeine binds to the adenosine receptors and thus blocks the adenosine from <laughs> binding. Hence, as adenosine does not bind, our receptors don't slow the brain activity. As a result, we remain awake. How does an owl fly so silently? Because of a soundproof jacket. <laughs> nah. Usually, when birds fly, oh. they make sound. This is because when they flap their wings, the wings create violent, unsteady movements in air. Hmm? This is called turbulence. Turbulence produces sound. However, hmm. an owl's wings <laughs> have some special features that help it to fly silently. What features? The leading edge of an owl's wing has oh. feathers that are serrated hmm. like a comb. When an owl flies, these serrations break air into smaller streams. Then, as the smaller streams of air move towards the trailing edge, the soft fringe on the trailing edge breaks up the smaller streams even more. This causes very less turbulence, thus creating very little sound. However, even this little sound produced by turbulence is absorbed by the velvety feathers present on an owl's wings and legs, thus helping owls to fly silently. <laughs> How does placebo huh? effect work? I don't know, dude. All right, I'll explain. Placebo in Latin means uh -huh. I shall please, and this is what placebos do. Placebos are inactive sugar pills, injections, etc. that look like real medications or treatments. In most cases, they relieve pain and make us feel better, even oh. though they are not actual medicines. This effect of placebos on our body is called the placebo effect. Now, one of the reasons why placebos are effective is that when we take them, our mind perceives placebos as real medications. Hence, our brain reacts to the placebo in a manner which is similar to when we take real medications. 
Thus, our brain releases natural painkillers like endorphins that help relieve pain. In addition to this, it also decreases the production of stress hormones, thus making us <laughs> feel better. Hmm. How does anesthesia work? It acts like a sponge and absorbs all the pain. Nah. Nowadays, during a surgery or a dental treatment, we don't feel pain. Sometimes, we are not even conscious. This state is called anesthesia, and the drugs which induce anesthesia are called anesthetics. There are three types of anesthesia, local, regional, and general. Hmm. Local and regional anesthesia are almost the same. Hmm. In these types, the anesthetics block the nerves of only a small area of the body without making oh. the person unconscious. Hence, the pain signals from that area don't reach the brain, making it insensitive towards pain. Now, in general anesthesia, the anesthetic is injected through a vein, making us completely unconscious. It is thought that the general anesthetic interrupts the normal firing pattern of neurons in the brain. Hence, different regions of the brain cannot communicate effectively with each other, making us completely unconscious. How does stress affect our brain? Just like lollipops affect my tongue. Oh, listen. It turns oh. out that short-term stress is actually a good thing. <laughs> when we get stressed, the fear oh. center of our brain called amygdala activates the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. Hmm. This is our central stress system which releases hormones and prepares our body for fight or flight. Ah. However, chronic stress can have negative effects on our oh. brain. How? Hmm. Synapses are oh. connections between neurons in the brain which help process and recollect information. Hmm. Now, ah. one of the hormones released during stress is cortisol. It is believed that high level of cortisol leads to gradual loss in synapses. <laughs> Secondly, prefrontal cortex is huh? associated with social <laughs> behavior decision-making, etc. <laughs> Too much cortisol can shrink our prefrontal <laughs> cortex, thus decreasing our ability to interact and make judgments. <laughs> Lastly, a study showed that chronic stress <laughs> may inhibit the growth of neurons in the hippocampus, decreasing our ability to learn and remember. Hmm. How does thyroid affect our weight? Ty what? Is it some kind of Thai curry? <laughs> nah. In need of energy, oh. the pituitary gland present in our brain releases thyroid-stimulating hormone. This hormone informs the thyroid gland present in our neck to release hormones like thyroxine and triiodothyronine, which instruct our cells to burn <laughs> calories and in turn produce energy. This is basically called oh. metabolism. Hmm. However, in some conditions like hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism, our thyroid gland doesn't respond properly to the pituitary gland. In hyperthyroidism, it releases more hormones even when we don't require extra energy. This increases metabolism, causing our cells to burn oh. more calories, and thus leading to weight loss. Hmm. While in hypothyroidism, it releases very less hormones, causing our cells to burn fewer calories, thus leading to weight gain. Hmm. How does a snake move? Simple. It moves like the famous umsum. Oh, umsum. Snakes display up to four different types of movements. Firstly, serpentine locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake moves in the form of a sinusoidal wave. Secondly, concertina or accordion locomotion. In this type of movement, the body of the snake contracts and expands successively like an accordion or a spring. Thirdly, Lateral displacement or side winding locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake moves laterally by forming vertical waves. In this way, it minimizes contact with the surface. This type of movement is typical of snake species found in desert areas. Fourthly, rectilinear locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake crawls in a straight line with its body stretched. This type of movement is commonly found among larger snakes as it allows them to access narrow burrows of their potential prey. Hmm. How do mirrors uh -huh. work? Simple. They work because Umsum is so handsome. Ooh, Umsum. 
See, when light hits an apple, it absorbs all the colors of light except for red. Red is reflected back. Hence, the apple appears red. Hmm. Now, a mirror consists of a glass surface with an extremely smooth and thin layer of metal film oh. behind it. Hmm. When light hits a mirror, it passes through the glass part and reaches the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colors of light. It reflects back all of them. Hence, we are able to see ourselves in a mirror. Hmm. But even snow reflects all the colors of light. Then why can't we see our reflection huh? in it? The answer lies in smoothness. Snow has a rough, bumpy surface. It reflects back light in all directions, while the metal film, being extremely smooth, reflects back light more directly. Hmm.